world. All right, we're gonna play a little bit of No Man's Sky today. Uh, we're kind of like back-ish on schedule in terms of working in other games. Um, so this will be the third game we've played today and we will see how well it goes. All righty. So uh, let's have some fun, do a little bit of farming. <clears throat> and we might even get back to the division. Maybe. Maybe even some destiny later. Depends. I'm not I'm not feeling too bad right now. Alrighty then, hey, boo boo. None of these motherfuckers is active, huh? Not a single one of you bitches. Some soup for lunch. A late lunch, early dinner. Soup and breadsticks can never go wrong with soup and breadsticks. Hey, welcome everybody. We're kind of making our way through this. Making our way through this. Yo, lunch was great, man. Ah, oh, man, I was actually just talking about it. We had soup and some breadsticks. And I didn't even get to touch my main meal. Like, I ordered, like, obviously a main meal, and it came with soup and breadsticks. And the soup and the breadsticks filled me up, man. And so I will get to have that main meal either tonight or I can have it for lunch tomorrow. So I'm excited. I am excited, man. Yo, red alert! Red alert is in the house! Yeah, lunch was good though. Lunch was good. Man, it's beautiful outside. I sat outside eating lunch while the dog stared at me. Like, come on, man, I know you want to give me some of your food. And I was like, no, dog, no. Like, it's really nice outside today. Man, I don't know. Like, this... Uh, so, I've been back in Chicago for almost a year, I think. For one... Let me see. I came back in, like, a winter. Came back in, like, August, I think. Uh, so maybe maybe two years I've been back in Chicago maybe a year I really want to say a year but I could very much I think probably two to be honest but yeah it seems like this year it has been much sunnier than it has ever been in Chicago like Chicago is generally not very sunny and when it is sunny it's usually hot and humid and it's just like really shitty weather and Obviously, I'm going to credit everything to uh, 
global warming. Oh, come on, there we go. To global warming. But yeah, seriously, like the weather has, has been, uh, I've actually been able to see the sky. Like I generally get pretty, pretty down and frustrated um, in the dumps when I can't see the sky or I don't have sun on a very regular basis. And so it's nice to be able to see the sky and, and, uh, and get sun, see the sun. And I didn't even sit at the bar while I went and got food, which is kind of a nice change because normally I'll have a beer or two while I'm waiting. You know what, I ain't gonna go down there because I'm just gonna pick it all, so might as well sit here and wait. This is where we're at. Yo, nerd boy. <gasps> Pardon me, hiccups. How are you? So am I. So am I. We were playing. We started the day with a little bit of division, and then we jumped over to Batman and watched all the kids rage about me playing Batman. Like, oh my god, ah, move faster. Ah. No, do it this way. And now I'm here playing No Man's Sky. Mahalo. Guess who sold his first full? Yeah, buddy. There you go. Nice, nice haul, nice haul. How'd it feel being instant rich?
instantly rich, I say. All right, we're gonna move these over as well. No, we're not actually. Fuck. Yeah, I saw you play Batman for a while. You were going just fine. You don't want to rush it. Yeah, I mean, like there's some games I take my time with, and that's one where it's just like, there's a whole lot of stuff going on. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of, you have a, a crap ton of gadgets. And it's like, if you were, if you, hey, what's up, J-Mag? Like, if you were going to play Batman, like, seriously, play Batman, like, you play it day after day after day. You know what I mean? Until you're done with the game. Because there's just, there's so much, like, the craft, or the, uh, the talent tree is pretty, is pretty in depth. You know, you got a bunch of stuff to choose from on top of all the tech you got to keep up with. And there's really just so many missions like, it's really, yeah, I saw, yeah, it, it can be a lot. It can definitely be a lot there. There's a lot of game there at the end of the day. So, yeah. What is that? All right, we're going to try something here. All right, I'm still live. I'm just curious. So Slate in and slate out just creates a black screen that says YouTube for you guys. Is that what I'm understanding? Trucker Deluxe, welcome back, my friend. How was your drive? Yeah, I'm assuming slate in and slate out um, pretty much makes the screen black for y'all. I bet, I, I did bet it. I'm at 74%. Nice. Nice. Yeah, it does. Yep. Okay, gotcha. Because we can finally mo like I have the I have this live stream set to monetize, but I don't think it plays any ads while while I'm streaming, which is kind of counterintuitive. My drive is long and irritating. Understood. Understood. Yeah, like we have we have the stream set to monetize, but I don't think it's playing any ads. Like if it hasn't played any ads since this morning, then I don't know how to get ads to play while I'm streaming, even though I have the stream set to monetize, which is kind of jacked up. Distant struggle. Yeah, I got can erase this whole back row. Not worry about a thing. <sighs> he has a computer that that transcribes text to text to voice. 
and he has a headset that goes voice to text. What's going on, Jay? How you doing? Thank you. And I thought I was tech with my apple. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Quite well. I'm doing well. I'm doing all right, man. We just started. Uh, we figured we might as well finish up the last of the farming that we needed to do, that we didn't do yesterday. And uh, it's going on 4 o'clock, so this stream will probably run for till 6, and then I'm going to walk my dog, and I might play either a little bit of Destiny or a little bit of Division. Depends if there's anyone on, on the Division. It's only like the 10 times I've had to answer it. So the laptop in my truck is what is through an earbud and my Bluetooth headset is playing sound from the stream and rabid in my other ear. Uh, Destiny 1. Destiny 1. Yeah, I don't have... I don't play PC. I only play PS4. But uh, we did play Destiny 2 beta for PS4. Because we pre-ordered it. So, yeah, we'll just play... If, if I play Destiny, it'll just be Crucible. Like, there's really no point in playing anything else uh, at this point. Just run around, smack people, get smacked. You know, something to kill a little bit of time. You know, yeah, we tried to play the division earlier, and we didn't have anyone online, so it gets boring when your when your buds ain't on on to play. Well, we're just waiting for these plants to pop, so we can get in cycle. Yeah, so what are you playing these days, Jay? Watch out for the rabbit in the other ear. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, you know what we wanted to check out was Everybody's Golf. They had previewed it at E3 this year, and historically, I played Hot Shots Golf on Xbox 360, and it was really fun, because it's kind of a, it's a relaxed, chill way to play golf. It's not like a serious golf game. Let me see, e -V Everybody's Golf. We wanted to check it out. Wow, 40 bucks. Hmm. 
Wow, so they're going to microtransaction courses. Well, that's lame. Yo, I'm on No Man's Sky trying to find the last species plant. Man, trust me, I feel your pain. There was like a day, a couple days ago, I needed one. There were only five animals on the planet, right? And I had four out of five. And I was getting so frustrated trying to find that fifth one. And I was on foot, you know, just walking around the planet. It took me hours to find one creature. And I swear there was only one of that creature. I hate that. I hate that so much. All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna, I never found every animal on every planet I've been to. I found every animal on every planet I've, oh man, I am not, I am not that de diligent. I think I'm only, uh, what am I? I think I'm only level three naturalist. Five, researcher, woo, halfway there, man, halfway there. We need to do more extreme survival though. More extreme survival, that's for sure. All right, I'm going to hit a button here that because I don't really know how this all works. So you guys let me know if you see an ad, please. I'm going to hit the button right now. It says, ad insertion was successful. So I don't know if that inserts it into, like, if people play the ad back or if people play the video at a later time or if it inserts it live. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Nothing, huh? I bet you it inserts it on the playback then. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Cause like, who's, who's gonna watch the playbacks of these videos? You know what I mean? Like, the point is to generate revenue while streaming, not like after the fact. Video at later time. Yeah, probably the archive video, which is pointless, cause it's like, dude, it's like I'm not creating content. You know what I mean? It shows to some people live, depending on YouTube's algorithm. Hey, Gaming Mike, welcome to the channel, bud. Welcome back, welcome back. Yeah, like, I, I just, uh, yesterday, I got the approval to monetize. And so I went through and, like, clicked, you know, the monetize all the videos in all of my archives. And then, like, obviously, when I live streamed, you know, I did the info, info and settings, and then um, clicked on monetize and turned that on. Nice, man, congrats. And so I'm still trying to figure out, like, how it actually all, all works. Because there's, like, their how-to is, like, real crappy. Like, it's, it's not very thorough at all or user-friendly. I wish I watch older videos Let's say a stream that I missed. That way I'm up to date. Gotcha, gotcha. Yes, I found it. There you go, nerd boy. Wow, it's good to know, trucker. I'll have to start leaving you secret messages. Secret love you notes. That way, while you're driving, hopefully you're drinking your coffee and you will spill it everywhere.
Yeah, some people will see an ad when when you hit the button, some won't. I can't say for sure if it puts an ad there in the video after the stream. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know. I mean, I feel like um, it's more about, like, YouTube's more about trying to monetize after the fact instead of during, you know? I mean, personally, dude, I'd rather not have any ads, but, yeah, that requires a whole different kind of setup, a whole different kind of uh, support network. So how you been, how you been, Mike? Well, just when I'm trying to impregnate you. When I've been sipping on that diesel, you know, drinking that tank fuel filtered through bread. Doing well, thanks. Working and lurking. Ah. That's the way it, it's done. That is the way it's done, sir. I forgot what movie that was, but there's a movie about, uh, I think it's a, it might be a Russian tank tanker crew, but I actually think it's an American tank crew. They're stranded in the desert, right? They're roaming around the desert because they've, they've gotten separated from their troop and they're, they're drinking the tank fuel filtered through bread and they're getting all kinds of fucked up and they end up like they're all going crazy man like suicidal kind of crazy it's a real crazy movie man I can't remember the name of it but actually like alright bud Today, 30 car pileup occurred in 74 East. When questioned, the truck driver confirmed that it was the fault of an internet streamer that caused the spit take and lost control. Hmm. You, Bellaby! Bellaby's like, yes! Like something he knows how to play, unlike Batman. <laughs> Space travel is lonely because one is lonely. Oh, I gotta go downstairs. Hurry, go. Harry Nielsen wrote that song. What, one is the loneliest number? But yeah, man, like, I'm not a huge fan of war movies by any sense of the imagination anymore. But I do like, I do like watching tank movies. I think it's because like, I'm so removed from tank like, I've never been in a tank. I've been next to tanks. I've worked, like, around tanks. But, uh, I've never, like, I've never been in a tank. Like, a legitimate, real, live, functioning war, war machine t kind of tank. And, yeah, I've known people that were tankers. And they're a different kind of... Man, I think they all got steel plates in their heads. 
Uh, we're just gonna farm a little. Like it's 3:30, and we needed to, we need to finish the farming. I gotta stop at six, like 5:45, six, so I can take my dog out, and then we might come back and stream. Maybe I haven't really decided yet. We might do a little bit of uh, either Destiny PVP or if any of my any of my peoples come on, um, we'll do some division, some shooter stuff. Cause we that clock on Destiny Two is ticking down, so we need to make sure we get our our shooting practice in. My PS4 has been at a pal's house while I've been moving. I get, I get a big night. Totally gonna load No Man's Sky up and pop. Ooh, Witcher 3. Yeah, man, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. As soon as they drop that 4K patch, like I will work Witcher 3 into my rotation for a playthrough on New Game Plus. Another playthrough on New Game Plus, um, which will actually be, it'll it. It'll technically read as a single New Game Plus because um, I have my original save file that I kept using um, when each of the DLCs came out. And now that I've played all the DLCs, I'm ready to officially start a, a New Game Plus. Because I played through uh, the entire base game uh, New Game Plus Death March, and then I stopped literally at the Aridin fight, the very last boss fight, um, because uh, Blood and Wine had come out. And so I, I ended up deleting it so that way I could play through everything all over again with a, uh, with like a fully maxed character. And man, I'm telling you, like I had started the game over on New Game Plus and when you when you're playing on New Game Plus Death March with um, enemy level balancing on, so the like you can no longer out level the content because the enemies get stronger every time you level. Like it actually makes it more fun. Like man, that sh it is really it can be difficult because that level balancing actually works. Yo, I just got to Karen Warren for the first time in Vanilla. Man, Vanilla, yeah, it is such a good game. It is such a good game. I remember the first time I was at Karen Moran. It was a cold day in February. February 1385. I didn't know what was going on then. I just knew that it was in the mountains. And I really wasn't supposed to be there. Because it was hidden from all folk for a long time. But my trusty steed Roach and I, we rode in there like bandits out of hell with our forever growing beard. I forged Novigard quest. I failed the Novigard quest when I traveled there. Yeah, dude, I still, like, I've done the majority of quests. You know what I mean? Like, it's, I, I really try to be a completionist in that game and do them all. Um, but man, dude, there's like, if you miss, like, one little thing, like, you're screwed. And you're just like, ah, you son of a bitch. And it, it makes it a pain in my ass. Come on, create it. Jesus. But yeah, dude, that game is like a whole ton of fun. It's just a really good story. Like, I wish there was more stuff to do once you complete everything. But, yeah, like, I went back and I, um, in my main game, 
I went back and did all, like, whatever question mark I had on the screen, I went to each one of them and I did them all. You know, trying to, that way the entire map was open. Man, it was, it was cool. I suck at Gwent. Dude, Gwent, so if you, I, I, I actually, I didn't play, I played Gwent like once or twice. Marco, Pizzale, bye, what up? Marco. Um, I played Gwent just like once or twice in the game, you know, a small handful of times. Um, but if you actually want to play Gwent, dude, download the Gwent beta on PS4. It, uh, I think they have it for PC now as well, but it's pretty fun, dude. It's pretty fun. It's a full-scale, competitive Gwent game. So just like they have Hearthstone competitions and uh, Magic the Gathering competitions, they now have a Gwent competition that's been running for a while. Like, real money. But yeah, it's pretty fun, man. It's a pretty fun game once you, once you actually play it. Cause it's it's it they made it they made Gwent a standalone game. And you can get it for free. And that shit is legitimate, sir. Legitimate. No, 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 I'll say. Oh, okay. Does anyone think that No Man's Sky will insert some content you have to pay for at some point? I know Hello Games said no, but Sony is in control. Um, you know, I started thinking that they might be going to some type of paid content after 1.3. Like, because it was really weird. He said, like, the message that had gone out to everybody was like, welcome, like, this is a free update. Like, I've, I don't recall them ever using the word free before. And so to point it out, to be very specific and point out that it is free, like, so are you saying, like, it's kind of like reading between the lines, you know what I mean? Like, they didn't say that they're going to charge, but I, I want to say I, I have this really sneaking feeling that they're going to charge for the next major update. I highly doubt it. Sony themselves can't add to the game being a publisher. All they can do is improve what Hello wants to have. Hey, George. I hope it continues to be free as much as I like No Man's Sky as it is. It isn't as promised. I think they've come a long way. Like, if it, they've given us the, the theoretical version of multiplayer, right? Like, this is what's to come. Like, they put multiplayer in because maybe they weren't sure how it was going to work or how it's going to function yet. But to reassure people that multiplayer is coming, like that's the only reason to have it, because otherwise this multiplayer is like absolutely useless, like 100% useless. 
There's no purpose to it whatsoever. I feel it coming too. They, uh, they can also influence Hello to the point of doing it, bitch. Fauna, floor and fauna needs work. Exploring still seems empty unless you have a task to do. Yeah. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Three blind mice. The day they started charging is the day they killed all interest in the game. I really think they will have, they will be gun shy about it. I know, like, it's got to be something really phenomenal if they're going to charge me for it. Like, otherwise, I, I have no purpose in buying it. Like, there's other, there's other space games that are really in depth as well. You know what I mean? That are out there. Like, generally, I don't play, like, I'm not into space games. Like, I bought this at the recommendation of a friend. And even then, I bought Witcher 3 first. Speaking of Witcher 3, I'm kind of curious where they're at. I know they've got a few more years left on Cyberpunk. Uh, what is it? I think it's Cyberpunk 2077 or something like that. But that shit looks nice. So does the game Detroit. Like, if you guys were watching E3 at all, they they advertised a game called Detroit. And it's all, like, it's 100% decision-based. And it's supposed to be, like, the most, the largest options of decision based that you could possibly ever play in a game like it's supposed to be crazy and it looks really cool it's kind of got that um i robot feel to it that uh like that will smith movie have y'all seen it bigger animals should have their own sound Yeah, if they start charging for stuff after after what they did on release, all the people that stayed loyal. I don't know, dude, some people some people are like they're pretty hardcore loyalists. Like they thought what they bought at the get go was well worth full price. Yeah, the lady looks like Jude Law and, and Michelle Williams from Detroit. Like J Law and Michelle Williams from Detroit. Yeah, dude, Detroit looks pretty sick. It, I mean, it looks pretty interesting. Elite, Elite Dangerous is looking good. I saw a video the other day. Um, it was basically a rundown of all the Elite Dangerous uh, vehicles and, like, all their spaceships. Man, dude, they got some crazy designs and some really interesting shit going on there. But from my understanding, like a lot, like I watch some people play it, um, not on a regular basis that I watch them, but enough. Um, but yeah, it's been pretty crazy. It's been pretty crazy. I've enjoyed the game since the start. I wouldn't mind if they started charging for updates as long as they hired a testing team before they released them. This is true. Yeah, like there's, I mean, the other, yeah, the flip side of that coin is they are really responsive to their community. I didn't think the 60 bucks got me got me sandworms. <laughs> Truckers on that boat with you right there. I did not think. <laughs> I work in QA, hire me.
three blind mice. Three blind mice. With them still recovering from lack of combat, I think it would be crazy for them to start charging us more. Dude, I hear you, George, but how many times have we seen a game company start charging for stuff like way before they should have been? You know what I mean? And yet, we pay. Like, we say, oh, it's okay, we'll pay. Because we want to play. Let's go jump some hills. Oh. Physics is great. Oh, look at that jump. We got to hit that thing. Get off me, bro. Oh, 
Oh. We went right through the rock. I want to buy a Witcher DLC. Yeah, dude. It's full of moth. I feel you. The DLCs are totally worth it, though. I will tell you that. You get a good chunk for your dollar right there. CD, CD Project Red definitely uh, paid in spades on that. Man, dude, I picked up. So in in the in the Blood and Wine DLC, you can get this sword, and it gets more powerful with every level you gain. So it kind of like levels with you, man, and it's fucking beast. And in the second DLC, Heart of Stone, they added like a Rune Master that has all these exotic, it takes a shit ton of money to activate the dude, but he gives you some really high powerful runes to put on your gear and your weapons. They do some really interesting stuff. Wow! Check this one out, Billy Bobby! I mean, the Red Baron questline alone was worth the price. Yeah, the Red Baron was pretty dope. Red Baron was pretty dope. Yo, Gig. What are... Oh. I got all excited, man. I mean, look at this thing. It's got, it's got. Who says my spaceman's got no hops? I mean, look at those jumps, though, man. Like jumps for days. I wonder if I can. So here's a question. I wonder, can I jump off that cliff and land on top of my base? Because now I want to jump off this cliff and land on top of my base. Oh. Oh, I should have kept hitting forward, dude. I totally would have had that. I thought I was going to overshoot it. I say your spaceman has no hops. Because any good man would turn hops into beer. Oh, we're gonna make this. We're gonna make. Come on, game. Oh, dude, we totally overshot the base. We knew we would overshoot it, too. Son of a bitch. You're up to 48 living glass per hour. Nice. Nice. Yeah, so you built outside. Alright? I think you. I think you built outside. Perfect. Whoa, hey. Slow your roll there, Batman. We're just gonna leave you right there. Cause that's how we park a nomad. We ain't giving no fucks. Whatever, whatever, I'll park where I goddamn well please. Trigger, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, right? 
Dude, that thing just jumps for days, man. That little nomad's got hops. Yeah, I know I do. Like, how the hell did he get his nomad up there? Just use the train manipulator. Yeah, dude, if the thing didn't cost four arms and a humpback whale, I totally would use it, use it to refill. Build myself a stairway to heaven with that thing. You got a sorry ass connection right now? Yes, that happens. It happens. Let me tell you. Oh yeah, George, I'm streaming, man. I just, I had to go and get lunch. Man, I had to eat. I was starving. And I did go and get lunch. And I had soup and breadsticks, and it was delicious. So, oh, my day's been all right, man. We did a little bit of Division, a little bit of Batman, and now we are here. And, uh, yeah, dude, eating is good. I ended up having Mexican, so I, well, I wouldn't, really wouldn't call it Mexican. I had Chipotle yesterday and Five Guy French Fries. Yeah, man, I had to go and get food there, George. I had to go and get food. Uh, anyone read the HL3 short story that was just, what's HL3? Is that Half-Life 3? But no, man, I haven't, I haven't read uh, much of anything that wasn't in my book. Yeah, Half-Life, no, I have not. Wow, so the, apparently they're already going to make a part two to the movie It. It's already in the works according to uh, GameSpot. To begin playing on 9.5. Are they saying we can preload Destiny 2 already? Is that is that what I'm reading? Start counting down. Oh, they just fucked up. 
the move letting us know there'd be a second movie. Why? I mean, you don't know how it's going to go down. You already knew, like, what went down, especially if you watched movies in the 80s. I'm just saying, Big Hoss, I'm just saying. Screw the clown movie. Give me a sequel to Carpenter's The Thing. The Thing. You know what I'm excited for? So once I ran out of shit to watch on Netflix, I was like, ah, oh, what am I going to watch? And I finally ended up getting through Stranger Things. And that was actually pretty good, man. I had It took me a few episodes to get into it. But Stranger Things was really good. Uh, but there's also a show called A.O., if you guys get a chance, man, check that shit out. It's fucking trippy. You gotta give it a, yeah, like, in order to get into the story, you had to watch at least like five episodes, which sucks. But, uh, but yeah, it was pretty good, man. It was pretty good a after all. Mm, but you weren't alive in the man. Oh, I think it, it might be OA. I think it might be OA, Captain. And welcome, welcome back, bud. Welcome back. Glad to see you're not drowning in circuit boards and diagrams. One focusing on kids, one on the kids as adults, just like the book is about. Mr. McCain, Mr. Rooney, report to the principal's office immediately. What's going on, Space Cadet? Hey, 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 hey. Leave Rooney alone. I've only been here, there one time. One time. One time was one time too many, my friend. Then again, I may have had an office inside the principal's office myself when I was a kid. And oh, how my that I would have thrived in the land ruled by the gun. So what are you what are you playing today, Rooney? Did you get did you get Destiny 2 yet? Anyway, yeah, did you get Destiny 2 yet, Rooney? Uh, no, we can go back in time and you can be my Tonto. Only if I could be like a really bad version of Tonto, like Johnny Depp. Rooney, Rooney is Sam. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, but I think he's actually referring to Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Not like the action, not you, Rooney. But like the Rooney in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I pre-ordered, but I don't have $60. So, but you already put your down payment on it, yeah? Like, do they just hold on to your payment until you can pay for the game? Yeah, Mr. Rooney is the principal in that movie. That was at GameStop. It was at GameStop. Right, I remember you paying, I remember you, like, putting your bills down on it. No, I would not get part one first at this point. Like, you could, I mean, like, I picked it up, like, a couple months ago because it was $5. But you got to get all the expansion. You got to get the other two expansion packs for it, if you want the rest of the story. At this point, I would not get uh, part two. It's not that kind of a story game where you have to have part one. Yeah, you pay six, and they save a copy for you when you pay sixty. Gotcha. Understood. Understood. Hell, you could probably buy, I think they have a sale right now on PlayStation Store where you can get them all, like the whole bundle for like next to nothing. But it's not worth it. I would just, if, if you were going to get a shooter, man, I would just get Destiny 2 and be done with it. Like, it's got its own storyline and shit, so. And it's supposed to have a crap ton of story. A a crap ton. Like, so much story that you may have to take an X-Lax to get it all out. Otherwise, you're just going to be sitting there pushing for a while. Yeah, dude, Anthem does look pretty sick. But we've got, like, a, at least a year. You know, I, I think they said, what, 2018? Like, late next year it's going to come out? And at that point, like, I don't know if I want to invest in any games in 2018 because in 2019, PS5 is coming out. You know, like, if I invest in any games in the whole year of 2018, it's going to be single-player games. Like, yeah, just single-player games where it's, like, one hit and done, you know? Because in 2019, I think they're estimating PS5. I would only recommend D1 George if you can round up enough players to do VOG. Yeah, Vault of Glass is a raid. And considering more than half the, the entire population of Destiny hasn't done a raid because they don't have matchmaking in D1 yeah but whenever console game out brand new it usually takes a while for good games to come out to it dude it's PlayStation man they will they will open with good games you know what I mean like they better have backwards compatibility with PS4 games I really think that's why the PS4 Pro came out so that way game makers can get the jump on doing 4K games for the PlayStation 4. So that way when PlayStation 5 comes out, you know it's gonna have native 4K. It's got to have native 4K. So that way, hopefully the games will be backwards compatible. Never done a raid on Destiny because I have no pals on Destiny. Yeah, man. Like if you guys want, man, uh, I know I will be starting a clan, and I'm always looking for people to play with. Because I know it will be one of my main games played. That's just how it is. And I would be more than happy to have you all a part of it. 
because I will be playing an unhealthy amount. Like PV, I really like PVE, and I also like PVP. I'm not very good. I'm not pro status, just like my about says, but I do enjoy it very much. I don't have PSN right now. See my comment about Moss. Yeah, dude, I feel ya. I feel ya. I was really upset that I didn't get in on the cheap price for um, PSN Plus. Like, there was a minute there that they had it, like, super cheap. Well, I don't want to say super cheap, but they had it cheaper. I, I've played games for a long time, Belby, and Vogue was one of the most unique gaming experiences I've ever had. I tried to solo vault so many times. hours that's an absolute limit I think I could squeeze in two more plants 50 an hour and that wouldn't really do much anyway now you know man you are the farm and master over there IP hello I'm gonna play D2 full time yeah buddy it's hard I like I like it. I like the game. I came to like it. Definitely came to like it a lot. I like it a lot. weaponized autism. Destiny was the first game I played for PS4 though. Paid for my PS4 with inheritance from a creepy uncle who I hate. Let's hope they don't kill net neutrality. Let us hope. Train rabbit. Is that a cake?
turn it up to 11, man. Just turn it up to 11. Hopefully not, man. I think it'll definitely hurt people who stream. Yeah, dude, I, I always like playing, I prefer to play games with a consistent set of people. I could just, yeah, not only is like, not only is their conversation, but uh, it's nice because you, you not necessarily know how, you get to learn how other people play, you know what I mean? And so you're, you tend to be much more consistent. Because people fill roles naturally. I wish I didn't need internet to play Destiny. <laughs> Have to bounce. See y'all. Adios, Belby. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by, man. Man, you missed it yesterday, Trigger. Trigger and George were all like sitting in a corner pawing at each other all day. Apparently they live like really, really close to each other. Like either like adjacent cities or something like that, or they both live in the same city. Yeah, they live exceedingly close to each other. <laughs> and so they, they were they were embracing their their Texas pride with each other.
Well, you know what they say about people that are from Texas. Um, they're American? I don't know. Poor us because it's hot. I was hoping you could tell me, in a superstar. <laughs> boom, bada, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Anyone ever watch the? Uh, so a long time ago, back when the internet was new. Uh, there was a website called Homestar Runner who had, obviously, the main character was Homestar, but the real main character was Strong Bad. Bum, bada, bum, bum. Google has no been clue either. <laughs> what do they say about people from Texas? Google. Jeff, y'all ever want to see some funny, like, work safe videos? Look up, look up Strong Bad or Homestar Runner. Man, them shits was funny as hell. Adios, Squall. Thanks for coming through, bud. Appreciate it. And the dragon comes in the night. <laughs> bum, bada, bum, bum. It's five o'clock already. <sighs> hey, no problem. Thank you for coming. Welcome to the stream. That's what I was going to drink today. I have a rock star for my, my Destiny gear boost. My, I meant to go to the store and get Pop-Tarts to see if they have any decent tasting Pop-Tarts for the Destiny XP boost. I normally don't partake in sugary drinks. Um, occasionally I'll have a soda, but I did get a rock star. I got two. It was like two for four bucks or whatever when I had gone to the grocery store last. I had one like a week ago, 
And I, I was like, I told myself this morning, you know, you should go ahead and drink that other Rockstar so you can pull the tab off and have that gear for it. And I was like, oh, you know what? That's a great idea, Mike. You do that. And then I went and made coffee this morning instead. And I was like, ah, you totally ruined it. Ow. <sighs> Strong Bad is, yeah, dude, I like Strong Bad a lot. We would watch it when I worked in an office doing Unix administration. Uh, we would watch that all the time, man. All the time. Techno and guitar has to be my hands down favorite. Too strong, man. <laughs> bum, bada, bum, bum. <laughs> then he's, he's just like flipping a glow stick with his boxing gloves. <laughs> and his luchador mask. Oh, that shit fucking kills me every time. Hey, Nomad, who parked their fucking Nomad up there? I don't know, boss. Fucking kids. Oh, you know, I keep telling myself, like yesterday I had totally forgot what I was going to, I was going to do something. It turns out I was going to look at what movies are playing this weekend, like what movies come out. And I kept, I told myself that about five times today. Hey, why don't you look at what movies are coming out this weekend? Like maybe go outside, do something. There nothing new? Come on, there's gotta be something new. Damn it. Nope. But it looks like they pull, is it Friday? Wow, Friday they're no longer showing Spider-Man Homecoming. I wonder how, I think Wonder Woman came out on, on DVD. And the cheat, the cheat, the light switch is not for throwing rave parties. <laughs> oh me. It's just like classic office humor right there. It's like classic humor. Good, good humor. You know what, I, what else I haven't watched in a long time? Office Space. Like, that's not a bad movie. I thought it's pretty funny.
growing. Still no, no release date for Spider-Man Homecoming. Trust me, bud, I hear you. I hear you. It's not a problem whatsoever. Thank you. Thank you, though, for the thought. No problem, man. No problem. There was nothing, nothing too exciting. I mean, I did manage to make 900 million credits by plucking the magic, the magic platinum plant. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You weren't here for that, trucker. Seeing if your back end was too heavy. I got it. I understand.
Look at you, Aunt Ed. You got a new a new profile photo. Looking sharp there, my friend. Looking sharp. How you doing? On this fine, illustrious Wednesday. I change it up every so often. I'm well, I'm well. I'm not doing too shabby. It's kind of, it was really nice outside today. So, sat outside in the morning. And we're going to be ending the stream at 6. Like 5.45, 6. So that way I can go back outside, walk the dog for a while, and we may come back for a few games of Destiny or Division. Depends on who's on. If there's anybody on. You know, I got this message. It wasn't just me. Like, I was part of... Like on, um, like a lot of people send friend requests when you're playing a game. You know what I mean? Like you're playing a game, you group up with a bunch of people, and you go through pretty quickly or, or really well. You know, friend requests go out, and uh, I tend to collect a lot of a lot of people on my friends list that way. And um, dude had sent out a message. He's like, because he had sent, I'm assuming all of us like friend requests. He sent out a, like a mass group message of like, hey, can you guys, can you all delete me from your friends list? <laughs> uh, new update for Division. Uh, 1.7, that's all I'm aware of. Uh, but he was like, yeah, can you guys delete me from your friends list? And everyone in the list was just like, no, fucking lazy. Like, you do it. Like, we're on your list. You know what I mean? Like, you scroll and fucking get rid of people. Yeah, the last update I'm aware of is 1.7. Oh, you know what? So here, I'm going to move this here, right? So if I start making lube first, now that I'm getting close to the... close to filling up my freighter... And then I'm going to start filling up my starship. All right. And then I could just create glass here. And then living glass here. I'm trying to figure out the best way to like create all the materials I need with just the ship because I'm almost out of I'm almost out of room on the freighter, so I got to start crafting intelligently if that was such a thing.
Yo, hi, you scroll and delete. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but you and your hot dog icon are my friends forever. <laughs> That's uh that is from the game. I got that icon from the game Life is Strange. It's like my favorite avatar forever. <laughs> I was so psyched. Cause it's funny because I don't like ketchup. Like I like mustard and I do like hot dogs. And yeah, man, like a mustard, it's, it's a mustard hot dog. <laughs> I love that little guy. And it's not like, I mean, it's a popular game, but it's not like, it's it's kind of like a, a cult, like a, like a cult following game. You know what I mean? Like it's got a really, um, it's got a very small, tight community, tight knit community, if you will, of people who play that game. So it's, I know not very many, if any, people are going to have that that avatar. Oh, I gotta send that stuff over here to the freighter. To the freighter, Jimmy. Send him to the freighter. Uh oh. Oh my god. I may have just kind of screwed my pooch there. 23, 5, 10, 15. That'll be 8. Yeah, I should be able to fit the rest in there. Nip, nip, break later on. Oh, man, I wish there was a nip, nip, break later on. Considering you have a dog, and we all know it's probably not a good euphemism to use. What? What? What, what do you mean, euphemism? What kind of euphemism? What you talking about, Wills? Don't drive me, man. Don't drive me. I do have a dog. It's a German Shepherd Doberman, like mini pincher mix. So it's a, like a medium sized dog. As a matter of fact, there's a picture of my dog on Twitter. On my Twitter. Right, Nightbot? That's right. 
Let's see, wow. Not bad, 44%. You said you may have screwed you screwed the pooch. Oh yeah, ha ha. But um, yeah, man, I didn't even catch that. Y'all were like ahead of me on that one. What, Mike? Yeah. That I did. I often like to talk about myself in the third person. It makes me feel more grand. Besides, it's such a common name. I mean, despite the fact that I chose it for myself. There's an interesting fact you won't hear most people say. I chose my own first name and my own middle name. Like I'm I'm really not that hard to find. I mean, I'm on Google. I've done interviews for like local news in both print and video. I make no attempts to hide really. Well, no easy attempts. No, I'm not saying it's a hugely identifying factor, but most streamers keep that under pretty tight wraps. Yeah, yeah. Like, I've been around the internet for a long time, especially like meeting people off the internet. So I've used a lot of different names over the years. But yeah, it, like stuff like that never really bothered me much. Stalker. <laughs> Yeah, generally, like, my first name I, I can care less about. I generally don't broadcast my last name. I don't have a Facebook. I don't use Facebook either. Under any name. Twitter is about it. Twitter and YouTube. I only ever put the effort if I have a damn good reason to find a person. <laughs> Sweet. I hope it's a good one. I gotta make glass, don't I? Yes, I do. You 
Way to go. <laughs> oh, paranoid. Paranoid, that's going to be a hard task to do, my friend. Primarily because I just don't give a fuck. I D A F G. It's okay. I thought that was you in the bush. I knew my dog was barking for something. And I was like, Trucker? Trucker Deluxe? Trucker Deluxe 85? See, it was really awkward when I was a kid. Um, obviously, I was very internet savvy, like doing bulletin board systems and shit like that when I was a kid. So you never had a real name, you know what I mean? Like only your parents knew who your, what your real name was. And you always went by some, uh, some alias, some cool, elite speech, internet name you know what I mean and uh, so it's like when you don't know someone's real name and you only know like their handle like try introducing people to your parents like that like oh hey this is Opie or this is Auk that said 
That's Dev Null. Oh, that's nice. What does he do? Well, he's a systems administrator for like a major bank. Doesn't he have a real name? No. Hey mom, this is Monk, the orc. Yeah, right? Like, I, I don't know, having like, me having grown up, one, on the internet, and two, um, in CBs, like with a CB radio, like everyone had a nickname, you know what I mean? Like it's really no different than when your parents grew up. Like they all had nicknames, even like, I'm sure you've got cousins that have nicknames, you know what I mean? And it's just a, a moniker that they've gone by because of whatever reason. You know, like girls that are named like Augustine or Augustine, you know, and you just call them Augie and shit like that. The sad part is I was just out that way and I left the area about noon. Yeah, I thought you were busy yesterday. I thought you were going to be out this way yesterday. I think you said you were going to normal. That's why I kept the shades drawn. Kept the shades drawn, curtains closed. I think I wore two hoodies and a ski mask. Kept my shoes on and a roll of duct tape nearby. I don't have a nickname. People just call me. Do you prefer the full name, like Steven? Some people are very peculiar or uh, particular about um, being called their full name versus, like, Steve. Like, when it's a personal conversation, I go by Mike. When it's a professional conversation, like, it's Michael. When I was a kid, uh, in the late 70s, early 80s, even my grandparents had a CV in their truck, and it was a huge... Yeah, man. Like, I had hooked a 102 whip up to the gutter with a gutter mount and ran, ran the cable into my bedroom window. And I had a, a Cobra, I couldn't even remember, remember the model number, but uh, the shop that I bought it from um, peaked it and freaked it. And so it was like, it was definitely like they opened up the bands a whole lot more than standard and so it was, it was pretty trick and it was a little beast man you know you wait till like those rainy nights and then you catch skip and you start talking to people that are way the fuck out of state or across the country like shit that just normally is not possible on a regular CB unless you're running some kind of power booster I had a friend I grew up and thought his real name was Bubba <laughs> because, yeah, dude, for like seven years, his name was James. Like, who's James? <laughs> yeah, man, I love, I liked, I liked radios. Radios were cool as fuck. That was a normal last night, but I stopped at walking along the way which for those that don't know is the world's largest truck stop and I killed about two hours wandering around walking why does that sound familiar because I always see like whenever I'm driving far like out of state you always run to place like largest truck stop in the world is it Iowa or Missouri is that on the western side right western side of Illinois are you talking about truck stops on 80?
What's up, girl? What's up? Okay, 30 minutes, and then we will go back outside, okay? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. I know, I know you're licking me. You're like, ah! 30 minutes, buddy, and then we'll go hang out outside. Yeah, but that's that's no fair, Trucker, because your real name is Tonka. guy from Walcott just did a peek and tweak on mine. It cost 400 bucks, but now I can put 500 watts out on each antenna. See, man, like, learning shit like that, like, I realize it doesn't take a whole lot to modify a radio. You know what I mean? But once you have that know-how, that, that's like a cool little, cool little skill to have. We have, we have this old cat around here. His name was Big Blue. And he, he lived, like, there was, there's nothing special about his house. He just happened to live, like, in between two towns on a back road that uh, it bordered a quarry. And so he was just like a little off the, a little bit off the beaten path, but all the kids knew how to get to his house, man. And he had a nice old house. But yeah, dude, you go in there on the weekend or whatever, and you go, just walk up to the garage. You know, garage will be open. Drop off your radio. Come back like a week later, and and he'll have fixed it up for you. Obviously at a charge. The place Tonka is talking about has a has a full size 18 wheeler and a tuning platform inside. That wow, that's craziness. I have one third time sleep. All right. Oh, thank you for the subscribe, man. Thank you. You have a good night and enjoy it, my friend. Get some sleep. Cornfield Cadillac. Hey, Markov. Makarov? Makarov? Miroslav Mak Makarov. Makarov. I think it's Makarov. Oh, I'm out of fuel. Yeah, I have no idea about trucks. B 
it's got instructions or I watch somebody do it, I can do it myself. But I'm not intuitively, mechanically inclined. I have to see uh, either the instructions on how it's put together and how it works or watch someone else do it. Um, and then I can replicate it. When it comes to motors and stuff. And then I can improvise from there. Because then I understand how it works. get down to that I don't get down that way very often so I always make it a point to stop there and wander around for a while between Walcott and the mall you know I've never been to the wall of mall of America it doesn't matter how long you're there you always spend too much money. I've never been to the Mall of America. I hear it's huge, though. I heard they got a roller coaster inside. Okay, we're gonna do one more harvest, one more full harvest, and then we're gonna call it a day. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I haven't decided if I'm gonna come back and play some Division or not, but if you do follow me on Twitter, you will definitely know because it sends out a message! That says! So I can get by, let me see, I can make enough material and be like super casual with how I'm placing shit. I could probably make, before I have to actually start paying attention, one, two, three, I can make four rows of material before I have to start paying attention. Ah, like pay attention as to where I'm putting shit. Fuck, I didn't make any of this glass. I'm like a slub. Product construct constructed. Product constructed. Shut up, Billy Jean. Man, I wonder if like when I get when I get older, I'm just gonna be like that crazy old dude, like uh, Leatherface's brother, that was a Vietnam vet, and just fucking kept scratching at his skull in part two with a hanger, because he had a metal plate in there, and he was just like picking away the flesh, scratching the the metal the metal plate. He was just like ah. He's like, I'll fucking kill you! Alright, trucker, gotta bounce for a while. Hey, you be good, man. Drive safe. We will see you next time, bud. <laughs> His new name is Tonka.
transfer. Five, one. Eight, nine. Damn it, I did it again. Good day. Hey, Blueberry Bleach. What's going on? How you doing? Welcome to the channel. Doing great. Living well. Yeah, we are. You've actually joined toward the end of the stream, man. There's no problems with that at all. I'm glad you've come. Ah! Oh, man, I almost fell through the ground again. You saw it. You saw it turn to water. Like, ooh, this was, a, this was probably a water planet before 1.3. And then it got cold and froze. But, uh, yeah, we're going to do one more, one more harvest, one more full harvest. And then uh, I'm going to log off, take care of my dog, and I may be back for some Division and or Destiny. You, uh, I have it on my list of games to look up. I know, I think Tony had also mentioned Resident Evil, but I can't afford to pay for any more games right now because I just bought that monitor, and I still, I've got... Destiny 2 that comes out in a week, and Gran Turismo Sport that comes out in two months. A month and a half. Gotta watch out for that. Yeah, he said he's gonna check it out. Yeah. I'll look into it. I will definitely look into it. I do like free-to-play games. Like, I have Warframe, and all I've done is the intro missions. And I heard Warframe is pretty crazy. Like, pretty fun. Like, definitely uh, a pretty intense shooter. A grind fest, if you will. But I haven't done, I haven't gone anywhere in that game. I've only been through the beginning mission. Right, Kezzy? I'm gonna be playing DC Universe right after work. I know, girl. I know. I'm almost done. You got 30 minutes. You just have to wait 30 minutes, and then we'll go outside. And I'll even let you chase whatever is in the yard. Okay? And you can sit out there and just get tired. And then tomorrow morning, when we wake up, we'll go to the dog park first thing. So that way you can go ham. You can go dog ham. For the free, so you don't like it, delete it. Understood. Understood. Have you played Marvel Ultimate Alliance? I have not played Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Yeah, I really haven't played any any superhero styled games. Uh, Batman is the only superhero styled game I've played that I can think of. It's good. I almost got it last night.
Yeah. We know you want to go outside. I know you want to go outside. Bloop, bloop, bloop. You know what, you know what that flower signifies, Kezzy? 15 minutes, and then you get to go. 15 minutes. Red board personnel, stand up. Out board personnel, stand up. Most likely enjoy it based on yesterday. Yeah. Aw, you're like little twins. Get you some Trigger Sanchez onesies. And then we'll sew them together so it's a twosie. How many plants have you been able to fit in your freighter? Um, my freighter's definitely not maxed by any stretch of the imagination, and I have, uh, 110. I think I have 110. Yeah, I've got 110. Four rows of six, I believe. Uh, I could give you a definitive answer in another 15 minutes. But I think it's 110. I know that worksheet has it on it as well. Um, type explanation point NMF, NMSF. Uh, it's on the first intro page. The right hand diagram is a diagram of my freighter. Yeah. But I also have, uh, I think I'm only at 78% utilization. And the only other thing I have installed on that freighter is a galactic terminal. So. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for, Blade Runner. Man, that's a movie I'm excited to see. Isn't that, doesn't that come out this year or does it come out next year? All right, George, adios, bud. We will definitely see you next time. Yeah, the new Blade Runner movie looks like it's going to be pretty good, if you ask me.
Wow, six days. Six days, Destiny drops. Boom! Are you gonna... I may. I may. I'm gonna see how late Kezzy wants to stay outside. And then see who's online for either the Division or Destiny. Like, if I play the Division, I know what I'll, uh, what I'll grind out. Hey, someone's here. Someone else? Oh, no, it's my vehicle on my building. Um, yeah, grind out some stuff. Otherwise, it'll just be a few PvP matches in the Crucible to try and uh, get the aim back. Make sure the aim is still there. You do? I tried to play Division this morning, and it just there was nobody online. If I get a dog, I'm going to name him Rooster. <laughs> Live.playstation.com Let me see, can I see it on the PlayStation app? So apparently they're saying you can get a free dynamic theme, de a Destiny 2 dynamic theme. I don't think I have used the Nomad since 1.3. Does Nomad still have Slaughterfest with the fauna? Yeah. Yes. You can still pretty much run over all, well, I would say all the rocks, not necessarily the plants. But man, you should have seen me, dude. I was four wheeling. Jumping like half a half a mile with that thing. It was awesome. Live.playstation.com. You now can earn a free Destiny 2 dynamic theme if you complete watching a video online at live.playstation.com. This ad was brought to you by Rabid Nomad. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> you know you're a millennial if you get a dog and you name it Clickbait. Yeah, man, that, that, <laughs> it, <laughs> watch it. <laughs> yeah, you could definitely cover, like, that thing just zoom, zoom, zooms. It's like, it's the Mazda of vehicles. <laughs> Look at that, it's like the crystals are inside waiting to jut out. Like, bloop! It's any minute now. Any minute now.
14 day trial of free PlayStation Plus. What? I wish people would call me Trigger or Happy or Trigger Happy. I would feel cool as fuck. What's your ship and freighter situation? Ah, uh, well, uh, in what sense there? In what sense there, Ant Head? Like, how full are they? My ship. My ship is empty. My freighter is not empty. My freighter will be at capacity in a, as soon as I pluck everything. In a couple minutes. Oh, you make a ton of. I figure you have. Oh, <laughs> some new cool stuff. Um, let me see. I'm sit well, technically, the last time I farmed last week was to get this much money so I can afford an alien tool if I ever came across one. But we're also saving up for the other, like, major thing we want is a 48 slot freighter. Because I know when I complete the story, you're going to end up jumping through a black hole or some jazz like that. And when you do that, you're going to end up leaving like your base and all that trash behind. And so when I get, when I finally do get to the end of the story, I want to make sure that I have a 48 slot freighter because I don't want to have to build a farm again. Not that I don't want to have to, but I'd rather not. You know what I mean? Do you have multiple ships? I got six ships all together, six star ships. I got four exotic ships, one class A 28 slot fighter, and then my class A 48 slot hauler. And then I got four exotics, which are all class S. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, like in order to not go through the black hole or whatever. But I'd rather just like get like I'm I it, it's not going to bother me. I just want to make sure I have all of the equipment that I need before I go through. I'm not too worried about getting a max slot multi-tool before the black hole because I'm totally my multi-tool is pretty beast right now. You know what I mean? You have one of those I don't, man. I've actually never even seen one of those exotics yet, Ant Head. So I've only seen them uh, online from what other people have posted. I've never even seen one yet. But yeah, as soon as I have the freighter, like that's the last major, major purchase I need to make. That's it. That is the last major purchase I need to make. And then I can tear everything down and uh, shove it all away in the in the hauler or in the freighter. I really don't like. I'm. I think I don't like the way they look. Like, I w I don't think I'll pass one up. Like, if one happens to be in a station, I'll probably take it. You know what I mean? To add it to my collection. Yeah, I've only seen one player. Yeah, I've seen a couple videos of people with them, but other than that, never, never real. Like, never in my game. Yeah, what goes with you to the new galaxy? Yeah, I believe you keep your freighter and your ships, but your, like, your base is a no-go. You know what I mean? And I think your ship will be broke. Whatever your active ship is will be broke when you go through. So, yeah, I kind of want to have all, all the big purchase stuff done. And then I, I, I don't care if I go through a black hole, because that's like the last big, big purchase in the game, is having a 48-slot freighter. 
I figure if I farm, right, like this freighter is just, it's over, it's more than one hauler's worth of, of loot here. Like I've got more than one hauler's worth. So if I fill my, finish filling my freighter up and then I fill my hauler up, that should give me two whole haulers, maybe two and a half haulers worth of material, right? So that'll put me in upwards of, we'll assume, we'll assume I make 148,000 each hauler load. We'll say 150. That's another 300,000, that's 450,000 and I should definitely be able to afford any hauler that I see at that point. Especially trading in my current hauler, which is roughly, I think, like 130 million, because I traded an 80, an 80 million hauler for this one that I have now, and this one cost me an additional 50 million. If you start a new base, new gang, do you get your old base resource? Yeah, like, I'm not even worried about the resources, to be honest. Like, the only resource that's important that you get back, in my opinion, is Vaultic cells. So you could build, uh, so you can start building vaults. You know what I mean? Like, but I will, I will definitely um, tear down the farm by hand before that and pack all that material away in my uh, in the freighter and then all I, like I know in vault zero I have close to 2,000 marrow bulbs so I have enough I'll have enough vaultic cells to create all my vaults because building the farm is, is really easy like, and I've got enough material stashed away in the vaults to build, uh, I've got all the zinc I need to build planters if I had to rebuild planters, but it's really the, the seedlings that are important. All right, IP, you have a good night, man. Enjoy the rest of your day, sir. Thank you for coming through. That's right, Kezzy. We're getting close. You're like licking your chops, staring at that window. Like, I smell a squirrel or a rabbit. Some type of small animal that will comfortably fit in my mouth. I'm finally about to be home. There you, wow, there you go. Where are you, ship? Galaxy 47, when I completed the story, it sent me to Galaxy Bill Milkish Street. Galaxy number four seven. What happens if you end up in Galaxy sixteen? Are you then a hostage of Luke? Are you then? Do you then become the slave of Emily?
Because Texas does. No, you just have to know how to spell on all of your forms. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, dude, the Vulgon will kick back your form if it is not spelled to a T with proper capital capitalization as well as letter um, accentuation accents. Like, what if there is no Galaxy 16? Much like there's not, like, Floor 13 on elevators. You know? I mean, even though there's a 13th floor... I mean, I suppose I could end up building all of these directly out of my suit. Does anyone watch Game of Thrones? Yes, I watch Game of Thrones. Ten 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 ten. Alright. This how much how so we charge these once, right? That's not bad. Yesterday we cut out at twelve percent, today at fourteen percent. That's not a bad little take. See if we could buy any more thamium while we're here. Nope. Nah. Are you talking Littlefinger or Peter Dinklage? The Queen's Hand. Stay 
up there, cowboy. Because do you even have enough plutonium on you to refill those? Yeah, you do. All right, I'm going to stay up here. And this is where I'll actually log out up here. That way, when I come back, I can refill those and then go down south. I'm glad. Yeah, little finger. Yeah. Dude, everyone's wanted him dead, like, forever. Air Aria is pretty creepy. Alright, folks, we're going to end the stream here. And I cannot say yes or no whether I'll be back. We may be back for a little bit um, in a little while. I'm going to go walk my dog, as they say. Otherwise, we will be back guaranteed tomorrow at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button, please. It definitely makes a difference. And have a great night. Peace out.